My trip for Face to Face this time is a journey of hope, a journey to witness efforts being made to improve the lives of our friends in Kupang, East Nusa Tenggara or NTT. Together with the staff from the World Food Programme Indonesia, a UN agency focusing on hunger and promoting food security, we look at how access to health, food and good nutrition are impacting positively on the welfare of the people here through a number of programs initiated by the WFP and working with the local governments and NGOs. Mirta Kaulad, then WFP Country Director for Indonesia, accompanies me to see with my own eyes the works that WFP is doing in the area. Good to see you. Good to see a you. A beautiful day. Yes, it's okay. a wonderful day. Thank you very much for being here. No, huh? I, I mean, this is the first time for me coming okay. here. But um, tell me, so what are we going to do today? What exactly are today, we going to see? Today you are going to see two out mm -hmm. of our three main activities uh, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we are going to go to a village nearby, to mm -hmm. a Posyandu. It's Posyandu Day. So it's uh, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding with their children and they have specific needs as far as their nutrition is concerned. So we're mm. going to show you how the whole system works, so what type of problem these people have, why and what the solution is for them. Okay, so what's the name of the village that we're going to? Uh, it's a small village really nearby Soe. We're here in Soe and the, mm -hmm. it's a small village nearby. Okay. Uh, just a quick question on why exactly are we going to you know, this particular village? Is there a reason behind why we're choosing uh, this village near Soe? Uh, we chose that village uh, doing an analysis of uh, the difficulties people have in having food throughout the whole of Indonesia. That study is done by the Food Security Agency of the Ministry of Agriculture together with mm -hmm. us. So we have a whole atlas of what we call the food security mm -hmm. in Indonesia. And that is one of the most difficult areas where people really struggle mm -hmm. the most to have the food they require for themselves, for their children and so on. And it's a big fight between them, the environment, the poverty, mm -hmm. to be able really to to have the food they need. Okay, I can't wait. Let's take a look. Okay, okay. okay. let's go. Currently, WFP programs have reached 340 community health posts in 14 sub-districts of South Central Timor in the East Nusa Tenggara province, NTT. NTT province is one of WFP's main focus as the area scores the lowest in Indonesia's Human Development Index and has the highest stunting prevalence in the country, which is around 58%, and a high wasting prevalence, around 13%, in the children. While South Central Timor District, or TTS, ranks as the most food insecure in the province due to an increasingly hard to predict lean season, increasing the likelihood that the youngest children will fall into acute malnutrition. The prevention of wasting during lean season, therefore, is critical to avoid the vicious cycle of reduced nutrient intake and infection that can lead to stunting in young children. Here we are, Mirta Pochandu. Hey. Sayang Ibu. So, yeah, this is um, one of the Pochandus where WFP does uh, sort of interventions. What do you see are the main sort of problems in terms of, you know, compared to the other part yeah. of the regencies and other parts of Indonesia? What, well, what are the indicators in that make it? In this part, I mean, now we see here it's green, mm -hmm. but this green lasts only very few months in the year. Uh, people here harvest uh, between February, March, April, so now it's harvest time, and what they harvest has to last for the whole year, so until February 2015, they will have to rely on what they grow. And what they grow is often not enough. So they reduce the quantity. So this is really an area in Indonesia where people really struggle a lot to have sufficient food mm. to, to, to look after their children and after themselves. The principal risk is that women, when they are pregnant or when they are uh, breastfeeding their children, 
they do not eat sufficiently. Mm -hmm. And then the children, when they are small, up to two years of age, they do not eat sufficiently. Now, when you or me were born, when we were in the womb of our mother, or when we were, until we were two years old, that was our fundamental moment for growing. That was the moment where we were making the most important solution, uh, decisions for our life. Mm -hmm. Because it was when our body and our intellectual capacity was being harnessed. Having the right food at that moment is fundamental. So, but it takes a lot of education, it takes um, a lot of availability of commodities, and this is what in this particular areas is very difficult to have. So through the Posyandu system, we help uh, all the most vulnerable, the people who really struggle the most, uh, to uh, have the knowledge about how important this moment is, and uh, uh, that we also give some specific food which is in particular fortified with the minerals mm -hmm. and the vitamins that are really critical. People think I feel the tummy and that's it, I'm not hungry again. It's not true. It has the quality of what we put in, mm -hmm. in the stomach is important. But this is more than just giving extra nutrition like that. You mentioned there's mm -hmm. a lot of education and getting people to understand the needs that yeah. mothers and breastfeeding mothers and babies uh, have for high yeah. nutritional food. Now, what do you see as sort of you know the biggest challenge you've, you've what WFP has been here since 2005 what has been sort of the biggest challenge in getting everybody to understand that there are these needs to be fulfilled well first of all it's something that takes time second it's really an issue of means and of priorities um, it's not easy to prioritize uh, health uh, it's not easy to prioritize within health, to prioritize nutrition, because there are so many other challenges. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to understand that to address nutrition, one really needs to look at nutrition. People think, okay, we, with incomes, mm -hmm. if people are richer, then automatically... They eat better. Is, well, mm -hmm. a lot of rich people, their children are badly nourished mm -hmm. because I have a lot but not of the right quality so it really needs a specific focus and then it really needs a priority also in terms of resources we are now bringing mm -hmm. in here resources that we have mobilized from the private sector mm -hmm. in Indonesia and globally but without those resources we couldn't do anything now what we're trying to do is also work with the authorities uh, so that Gradually, there is a prioritizing also in terms of the local budget that goes more to nutrition, these mm -hmm. type of things. So this is really the big challenge because it really takes a mentality change. But yeah. let's go in because they seem to be quite excited. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, go. let's go, let's go.